So here we are at the South Florida Pembroke Pines Gun Show, and we got a few Democratic moms against gun violence. I want you, yeah, how are you being called? They're murderers, they're rapists. You have a president, the most powerful man in the world. Don't talk to me about four people that are left. Why are you talking about Trump? Trump. Trump. You're the president. Yeah, this is not a joke. You're the president. He's not. He's not. He's not. Really? Yes, yeah, really. Yeah. You're what Reagan? Reagan. What did Reagan do? He won't wear a Trump what shirt. Reagan He'll wear it. Reagan. Reagan won the Cold War. <laughs> Reagan oh, lifted oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, he that did. was economic problems that they had. You know what, is what really happened. No, just told me you like Reagan. I know, but that was bullshit. Third down this wall. He's an young young actor, Mijo. Come on, you know how politicians are. Reagan was president. What did he do that was so horrible? He deregulated business. Rich people pay the taxes. Reagan comes in, blocks that 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 tax and people down economics. So down the, the, the tax rate from something like 70 to 40, I'm not sure on the number, something like that. And all of a sudden we started to have more problems with the cities and the economies, more people. The school funding went down. I worked at, 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 uh, at a university at the time. I was the office manager of a, of a department. Our funding dropped because it was a state university. Because Reagan cut funding so you could give more money to the trickle down economics. They never trickled more. What happened is. No. No. What happened? You were under Bush, too. So wait, wait, wait. The whole world collapsed under Bush. Let me finish. Remember that? Come on. What's well, up? But, but that was when we started. What happened under Reagan is rich people did not trickle the money. All of a sudden we had McMansions, but they had a stop. Who builds the McMansions? That, that, that's a small number of people compared to what he did. Okay? That, that's how the economy they, works. They bought a second house. They bought, they put the money. That's how the economy worked in Venezuela. The rich, the rich, the rich, and then what happened? This guy got up there and said, look what they're doing. All the money's going to the rich. Look at you poor people. And what happened? Okay. And now we have a bigger mess. That, yeah, no, the, not socialism, an evil human being. I don't want to talk to labels here. He's a socialist. Okay. It's a key word. Yeah. Fascist? Should I call you guys fascists? Should I say that you're like Mussolini? That he reminds me of Chavita, your Chavita president? Which I know you're embarrassed about. Right. Can I ask you why you have Well, I'm very concerned about it. Uh, yeah, we are very We are very concerned about it. We are very concerned about it. You know how I found out about it? Put it on Facebook. How are you, ma'am? I wanted to get her views on it. Convince me why I should give up my We're not asking Demonize the gun and not just maybe some of the other root problems like are, substance abuse. No, no, I'm talking about the root problems. That's only addressing the certain. An assault rifle is no different than a hand. They fired one bullet at a time. We're not talking about a machine gun. Well, they allegedly twin. Yeah. Or, you know, okay. It took them how long? And in Ohio? See, I'm an advocate for the more good people, people with guns. You could have stopped that within seconds. But it, when we had the assault weapon ban in place, I went literally last night. I, I, I based my decisions on facts and issues, not on emotion. Right. And but that's what this is, scare talk. No, no, no. We 
showing his number of deaths. So where do you? So where do where do prescription drugs come into play? When all of these uh, shooters are on psychotropic drugs. No, but we want to blame them. Uh, I'm talking about the assault weapons ban when it was put in place. They had an extreme downturn of guns found in criminal crime scenes and actual gun deaths. That's statistics, and that's why we need to study this. But our federal government, but our federal, we have two hundred. Did you, did you compare the difference between assault rifles and handguns? 152 this year. First, it'll start off with assault rifles, and then it'll it'll turn into handguns and, and revolvers. Telling people they can keep their guns and their guns for now, for now, and then it'll turn out into something else. Because I see the, the constant assault on the Constitution, and no one talks about the original design of the Second Amendment. Doesn't mean that you can have every gun. Well, nobody wants every gun. Well, you say that, but we're starting off with this. That's where it's going to come down. It's a slippery slope. Our, our uh, Supreme Court said that you can limit the types of guns that are on, that are open on the open market. Okay. Our, our Supreme Court said that. But again, I, I, I don't put, put all my faith in it. I don't put all my faith in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has been wrong many times. The Supreme Court at one point said it was illegal for slaves and uh, women not to vote and they take it. Right? That's a common argument. And they also never envisioned our cell phones, our, our digital cameras, that our first, first amendment protection. Oh, no, our, our information is being censored, but I think that's a greater uh, assault on our liberty. Do you think Joe Biden shooter and Dayton Ohio are free So what caused him to do that shoot? Not the gun, it was his mindset. So let's address the prescription pills that he might have been on. Those are all symptoms of a greater problem. We're not addressing the root problem. Semi-automatic weapons are not weapons of war. I was in the military, and you don't take a semi-automatic weapon. And you take a semi-automatic rifle into combat. So you're only okay with the government having those kind of weapons? Because that's the police and the military. They only they're trying, they're well, they're trying, trying to take them out of the hands. But you're trying to take them out of the hands of the individual. But you're not saying take this on the police, though. I'm trying to take assault weapons of war out of the hands of the police. But we keep saying assault weapons. The kinds that can kill somebody very fast. You pull the trigger, one bullet comes out. That's, a, that's like a hand. Has someone have been armed in that store? Could that have stopped that before? Or outside, or inside and outside. No, that was the uh, Dayton, Ohio. That was Dayton, Ohio. Oh, okay. And a, person, a good guy with a gun stopped that within seconds. And that's what we should do. And that goes to show you, more good people need to be armed. I'm not good. A trained shooter can do a lot of harm. Yeah. Yeah. That's the big okay. But again, I think we need to be addressing the root problem. It's not just the gun, it's the mindset. How come this isn't happening in Haiti? It's not happening in Haiti. When was last time a school shooting happened in Haiti?
slope to where we're going. Every constitutional protection or an inalienable right that we have is being eliminated. I should be required to have a, a big weapon. No. Required? No. It should be an individual. I'm Jewish right. and I see a lot of people. And how could that change the people better? I hear so. If you want to protect yourself. Sure. If you don't want to have to wait for the government to come save you, then yes, you should be armed. I don't want to live in a society where I have to wait for the government to come Okay, well, let's tell Big Pharma to stop, stop putting suicide pills out in the street. Stop advertising commercials that tell you the pills may cause you to have to call suicide attempts. I agree with you about that. So let's address that and then figure out. We're not on the same page about the drugs. We are. And the drugs is causing people to be fine. The majority of those people that are mostly on psychotropic drugs. I think that's the one common denominator. That's the common denominator. All on psychotropic drugs. The drugs telling you might cause you to commit suicide or psychotropic uh, Adderall, you name it. You, uh, hell, I think uh, some of the flu drugs called you might have suicidal tendencies. I can't think of the name right now, but it was um, it, Tamiflu was the one that says might cause children to cause harm, self harm. Tamiflu. I would love to get your email and uh, address that. Tamiflu said it might cause children to call, have self harm. But they're saying it may call the child and have So I just want to give you a great commercial yes, for uh, Tammy. You'll, you'll love it. Yes. I am a person that gets bronchitis really easy. If right. I get sick, I'm going to be sick for months. I discovered Tammy flu this year. Right. I got really sick on a Sunday. I had some Tammy flu. I took it. I took it Monday. I took it by Friday. I was completely well. Right. No other symptoms. I just wasn't sick. Now, are you saying your physiology is the same as a child? So a child may may have the same reaction? Again. But on their insert, when it comes to vaccines and these uh, big pharma pills, on their insert, it tells you it may cause brain injury. They have to cover what they're doing is they're worried about Safe and effective. So they're putting down every possible thing. There may be one person who had an effect that may be not even related. They're going to write it all down. It doesn't cause their fate of a loss. Right. All right. I speak. And again, I, I just believe we're on a slippery slope. I just believe we're on a slippery slope. Eric. And you're right. So you're, are you with a group or something? No, I'm here by myself. Um, I just saw you wearing a t-shirt. So I it's a, it's a three percent of shirt. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so what is the point you're trying to? I mean, there are 30 plus people here. I'm here to the Constitution. Uh, again, the Second Amendment. And, that, and this. It's just beginning. And again, we're seeing every year, generation, we're seeing the erosion of the Constitution and our enable rights. And that's why I show my support for my money as a judge. Okay. And your videotaping as well? Or documentation? This is, a, this is a historical event. Yeah. <laughs> so do you post it on YouTube? I do. Yeah. 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 The Pennington Cock. The Pennington Cock. The Pennington Cock. I'm offended when I see the Second Amendment. I swear, I swore, I swore twice in my um, in my life, my career, my 40 years of life. I swore twice to defend the Constitution. And now in my 40s, I'm first first time I'm actually standing up and defending. And what about the First Amendment? 
First Amendment. I believe in all of our neighborhood rights. And the Constitution doesn't grant us rights, it just codifies it in writing, what we should be uh, supporting. Sure. Of course. And also, have the ability to decide how to make our church and live. I agree. And I agree. And, and that's what this. And that's what the Second Amendment is about, about protecting lives. It's not about just owning guns, it's about protecting lives. But again, America has a, a deeper rooted cancer, we need to address that, and maybe we'll be done by it. You're talking about lives being safe, right? We've had over 250 mass shootings. Right. I mean, it's Now, how much of those mass shootings are gun violence? I know the, the definition is three or more. How much of that is gun violence? Mass shootings. Three or more people being shot in the How much of that is gang violence? Um, high capacity uh, clips and uh, high capacity uh, rifles like the AR. We need to stop selling those on the open market. We need to change the mindset of the people. The mindset, the, the not everybody is has the ability, the mindset to carry a weapon at war. And they're already doing background checks. They're already doing all the time. They don't have universal background And what is a universal background check? So this criminal wouldn't be able to find a gun somewhere else. This criminal wouldn't be able to find a gun somewhere else if he was held in on purpose. Unless it's the chance. That's what we're looking for. Sure. Just a slippery slope. No, it's it's about using data, which now our federal government cannot uh, fund the uh, National Health Institute studies of gun violence in our country because most of gang violence in the United States. No, Because a criminal is not going to listen to that anyway. Someone, a criminal is not going to listen. But we're we're talking about people committing crimes. As a police officer, you're not able to say, "Oh, that person has a weapon," and arrest them if the gun law is in place. That's what we're trying to. Say. But having a gun doesn't make a person a criminal. We're talking about people committing crimes. But you don't want guns for children. I, of course not. Okay, so why would you want a gun in a park? To protect my children, because of that criminal that might come into the park. And if I'm armed, I'm going to stop the crime. But if you have a concealed carry, that's different from then if you have a, a, a no, no concealed carry or permit or whatever. That's the difference. You have to have a law in place for a police officer to go and say... Because criminals don't follow the law. So if you, you have, you can have a thousand laws that criminals are going to uh, follow. See, you keep you flip the script on me. Because I know how criminals work. They don't follow the law. You have how stop signs. You, how can you keep children safe if you can't arrest them? Because that doesn't change the mind. Laws don't stop crimes. Oh Laws don't stop crimes. Laws do not stop crimes. You're a police officer and you don't feel laws stop crimes. Criminals are going to stop. Okay, we're okay. done here. Thank you, ma'am. It's been fun. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes. Gun? I'm just a reporter. I'm for, I'm for, uh, you guys are against guns. I mean, no. Against guns? No, I'm for I'm arming the good people of the United States. Okay, okay, so you're not against guns. No, no. My question is, are these people, what are they doing? This is the most dangerous place around. Exactly. A, a gun might jump off the table, I know. Laws don't not commit, laws don't stop crimes. Because the burglaries still come, the people still murder, laws do not stop crime, good people don't commit crimes. Sorry, guys. As officers, you guys are aware that laws don't stop crimes.
She's got into a heated debate over there. She's convinced that if we had more gun laws, it would stop the crime. What do you guys think? I, I completely don't want to talk about that. No. Because <laughs> we've obviously seen that the laws out there are not stop, stopping the shootings already, right? So your basic premise is that we have more laws to stop gun killing people. I think we need argument. just a few more laws have, and it'll stop. If we had a number of things that wouldn't stop, it would slow down. It's so never going to stop. Never. Yeah. The genie's out of the bottle. So we need to create... The genie's we need, been out of the bottle. We need to find out what's... We need to find out what's wrong with the mindset of the people. Why is it happening in the United States? So much. Because we have the guns in the United States. Other nations have guns. Not nearly the ones we do in pretending. Maybe not population. nearly as medicated people as we do. Why, why, why don't we address the, uh, the prescription pill issue? That's just another issue. You can't do both. And the, do you think prescription pills cause people to get sure. guns and shoot people? Sure. It says it may cause you to have a psychotic behavior. It may cause you to have suicidal Being tendencies. Feeling oppressed, feeling like people are after me for sure. some reason, right. and then having access to a gun is what's causing the issues. Right. And you don't Nothing. think that person would still be able to get a gun, even if there were like All a thousand laws? Like... What if most of them couldn't, but some of them kids could? So then we cut the death rate in half. Right. That's a bad. That's terrible. Let's not do it because we only cut the death rate in half. Yeah. Isn't that a silly argument? Cut it in half. Cut it in half. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Hey. So there you have it. More laws will stop the gun violence. I don't think so. That's just me. No more guns in our community. Thank you. black, long black evil guns. round magazines that says scary. So far, so, far, so thank you. Surrounded by black evil guns, tons of ammunition and bullets, and knives, scopes. I don't know if I survive this. I don't know how we pop. I'm waiting for one of these guns to jump off the table and do something evil, you know? Sorry, sorry. It. I attended the South Florida gun show and I survived it with all those deadly guns inside. All those black evil guns. They're so long and black. And on my way out, I'll show you the uh, Democratic Moms Against Gun Violence. Or the group that comes in.